There's a treat in store for everyone. There's a legend city in the valley of the sun. It's a city plan for family fun. Oh, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, originally from Michigan, but I'm almost Phoenix native. My best story of Legend City was Ladmo's birthday. I wanted so to win the Shetland Pony that they had up for drawing. Made him a special card, stood in line for two hours to get a cr crummy piece of ice cream, and some other kid won the Shetland Pony. I was heartbroken. My parents were relieved. They had no idea where they'd put the pony if I won, and I tend to win a lot of things. I'm looking forward to this day because Legend City holds a lot of memories. Not only the pony one, but a lot of dates. Hi, Lainey Harrington. I grew up at Legend City. Uh, my parents worked for Air Research. They did a lot of company picnics there. And then we just went for fun. Actually, I had my first blind date there. And the guy kept wanting to hold hands. And I'm like, you do not need to lead me around Legend City. I know exactly all about it. And also, I like to hang out at the sweet shop. My name is Martha Welty, and I'm from Phoenix. And uh, I've lived here since I was two years old. I came from a family of 10 kids, and we were Disneyland people. We loved Disneyland, so when Legend City came along, we just loved it. We just loved it. We went there often, and um, gosh, my favorite ride was definitely the Lost Dutchman Mine. And all of us kids, of course, used to laugh when the guy would poke his head out of the bathroom and say, can a fellow get a little privacy? <laughs> and then I worked at Legend City um, two different seasons as a teenager. And that was kind of not in its heyday when it was kind of going downhill. And there was quite a contrast um, from my childhood memories to working there at, uh, in high school. Um, but yeah, it was a wonderful, wonderful park. and. Uh, I'm sorry that kids today don't, we don't have a park like that here. Hi, my name is Steve Hosa. I'm originally from Phoenix, Arizona. And this is my piece of Legend City memorabilia. I won this in 1982. This was the only time I went to Legend City. Uh, right after high school, I went with two friends of mine. And by that time, there was a lot of Midway style games there. And I had a, uh, I uh, played a game where you had to shoot darts at a bunch of balloons, and I popped all three of them, and I got this stretched Sprite bottle, which still has the liquid in it, not sure what it is, and it still has the wax top on it. So this is my piece of Legend City memorabilia. <laughs> we're, um, we're from Utah. Um, Andy Yorth, I'm Lou Crandall's grandson, and I grew up... Um, looking at Legend City maps and just wishing that I could go there someday and knowing that I never could but I, I, I loved Legend City as a little kid even though I'd never been there so this is my wife Tanny and I'm his <laughs> wife <laughs> hi I'm Louis Crandall Louis Crandall jr. my father is the uh, the one that started Legend City and boy did we have fun um, I was only one year old when it started but I remember it for 15 years after that. We would come down every year. We actually live in Utah. My father moved after Legend City to Utah to build a ski resort. And boy, um, we love to come down and get in, back in the warm, sunny weather of Arizona, that's for sure. Um, my best memory of Legend City is basically my father talking about it, all of his memories for many, many years. I loved going through the, the Lost Dutchman mine. I, it scared me to death every time I went through the spider. Uh, and see the spider, but later when I got older, I realized it wasn't as bad as I thought. I love the skeleton at the uh, piano, playing the piano, that was awesome. Golden Palace Saloon, I remember it all. And what's neat is this last year, I repaired and fixed up the old original snow cone machine that my grandfather and grandmother ran in Legend City, and we make snow cones up in Utah in the summer, and in the winter we have our own snow. <laughs> all right, I love Legend City. Hi, my name is Pat. Aguero Esparza and my fondest memory of Legend City is when our tap dance class from Jean's School of Dance was invited to tap dance and do our can-cans um, about two to three times a year and what fun we had. We got in free because we performed and after our performance still in our costumes we would run and go do all of the rides before my dad picked me up because I couldn't be out that long. <laughs> so I am just so thankful that the 50th anniversary party was today and I had a wonderful time um, going down memory lane and seeing the pictures and the wonderful people who brought this to fruition and um, 
wonderful memories and hopefully we can um, get new memories for our youth today and perhaps have another Legend City. Thank you. Hello, I'm Scott Wallace. I'm a native of Phoenix, Arizona. It's great to be here at the Legend City 50th anniversary today. I want to tell you a quick little memory I have, many, many from the park. And I want to thank Lewis and the Crandall family for launching something that is such a part of my heart and a fabric of us, so many that uh, grew up here. Uh, I was in a rock band back in the 70s. We used to play at the park many, many weekends. I have so many memories of some great times playing music for folks out there. Um, about uh, 1978 or so, my drummer and I are walking along and we see this beautiful girl, a photographer has taken uh, some photos of her. She's holding a little dog. We're kind of joking around. My drummer says, hey, take a picture of us. And she turns to the photographer and says, yeah, take a picture of these guys. So we walk off, we're heading back to the stage and my mom runs up. My mom says, I just saw Stevie Nicks. She, I just told her about your band playing here. She's got her little dog. So Stevie Nicks came up, saw our band play and we would laugh because I said to my friend as we were leaving, why didn't we get a picture of us with that beautiful blonde girl? That just goes to show you. <laughs> so I just wanted to thank everybody. This is a great time today. Had so much fun down here. And um, I work with Pat McMahon at AZTV. He wanted me to make sure I said hi to everybody here. And thank you very much for all the memories from Legend City. It's such a deep part of my life and I'm so happy for this day. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Leanne Sharp. And when I was a kid, my dad, Everett Pease, was the marketing manager for Union Oil Company. And they had a promotion with Legend City where they had the big orange ball that was the 76 ball at the little putt-putt cars or little cars. And on the weekends, he would go out and hand out those little orange balls that you'd put on your antenna or uh, the little banks, a penny bank that was like an oil can. So he'd take my sister and I with him. And it was our job to hand these out to every kid as they came off of the little cars. Well, that would last about an hour, <laughs> maybe two. And then we'd get bored and he'd say, okay, kids, go ahead and enjoy the park. So that's how for two years, every weekend, I was able to spend a lot of time at Legend City exploring every part of it, probably parts that you weren't supposed to explore, <laughs> but because we were there all the time, uh, we were able to really get a good dose of, of Legend City. And it was just the greatest time in the world for kids. Hi, I'm Carol of the Seidel and Carol Magic Show. My husband and I performed magic at Legend City probably around 1978 to 79. Some of my fondest memories were at the Opera House, as it was called then, when my husband would be performing magic and I would have to sneak out one side of the stage go out the window, run over to the other window, jump in that side of the stage while the dancers were changing their wardrobe. Um, it was just really great memories there. We worked with Wallace and Ladmo a lot of times. Um, it was just a lot of fun and it's really good memories. Hi, I'm Joan Johnson. I was Joan Halliday and I worked in the Legend City Gazette where we printed up, uh, put your name in the headlines and there's a picture of the map of the city in it. So everybody bought it and came over and did that. It was really fun working there. It was, as I said, my first job right out of high school. And it was uh, lots of fun. And everybody there was really sweet and fun. And it just was the neatest thing you could ever think of having your first job living out, working out there. OK, thank you. Bye. Hello, my name is Juan Rodriguez. I'm a native Phoenician. Um, I was probably one of the last people to come to the uh, uh, Legend City, 1983. It was a wonderful place to bring my cousins when uh, they came over from Mexico, and I miss it very much. Uh, happy 50th. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Jim Fabian. I was a 21-year-old uh, college kid. I played in the le first Legend City band. I was uh, the trumpet player. We would march around uh, the grounds. And uh, we also backed up in a Dixieland band, backed up uh, Von Decay when she'd sing in the saloon. So it's really fun to be here and uh, the memories that uh, go with this. And 
this is a great thing to see. To, to see. Thank you. Hi, I'm uh, Jimmy McGarren from, uh, from Phoenix. Um, I went to Legend City. I, I moved here like in the late 60s, so I um, went there all through the 70s. Um, finally got to play in, in a band uh, on the Lagoon stage, uh, kind of towards the end of the end of the park's life. And it was a, it's a, just a thrill to be on the same stage that Wallace and Ladmore were on and everything like that. Um, and just have a lot of great memories. There's a legend Thanks. city in the valley of the sun. It's a city planned for family fun. Oh.